In this video, I'll share powerful Bible verses that will give you hope in hard times. I'm Dr. Elias Moitinho. On this channel, I motivate you and give you tips and life skills to help you grow in your life. If you are new here, I invite you to subscribe. Let's get to the Bible verses. God has a plan for you. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. You may have heard that God has a plan for your life. Guess what? That's true. This is a well-known verse in the Bible. And many Christians turn to this verse during difficult times in their lives because the verse gives them hope for the future. You may be feeling hopeless right now. You may be going through a health issue, maybe a financial challenge, or even a marital crisis. I'm here to tell you today there is hope. According to this verse, God gave hope to His people in the Old Testament during the hard time of the exile in Babylon. God has a plan for each of His children today. God can give you hope for a brighter future, even as you go through your challenges and struggles. The God of hope. Why is God the one who can give you true hope? The next verse will tell us. Romans 15, 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. God has many titles. Paul describes God here as the God of hope, who gives you joy and peace. When you go through hard times, you need peace. You need joy. Where do you get peace? Where do you get joy? Well, God is the source of hope, who gives peace and joy. But what is hope? Biblical hope is different from what people call hope today. Nowadays, people think of hope as a wish, a desire, and it's even called wishful thinking. However, in the Bible, hope means anticipation or expectation of what God promised He will do. So, hope is based on God's promises. Remember that God is faithful to fulfill His promises. Hope involves trusting in God and having faith in Him. The Bible emphasizes hope for blessings, not only on this earth, but also eternal life in heaven. When you get hope, your attitude and emotions change. You become more positive about how to face your crisis. You can even see the light at the end of the tunnel. Watch my video Bible verses about suffering and comfort. I'll put the link here for you. How do you get hope? Romans 15, 4. For everything that was written in the past was written to teach us, so that through the endurance taught in the scriptures and the encouragement they provide, we might have hope. If you are feeling hopeless and looking for hope, you can get hope from the Lord. How? You get hope by reading the Bible and learning about God's principles and promises. As you're going through this challenging time in your life, you can read your Bible and learn from people in the Bible who went through struggles. And through their faith in God, they gained hope, they persevered, and they experienced victory in their lives. These stories can encourage you and fill your heart with hope and strength. Watch my video Bible verses for strength. The link is here. Our hope is based on God's word and on his faithfulness. We need to be like the psalmist who proclaimed in Psalm 130 verse 5, I am counting on the Lord. Yes, I am counting on him. I have put my hope in his word. Hebrews 10:23 Let's hold firmly to the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. Our hope, anticipation, 
or our expectation of what is to come is based on God's promises. And guess what? This verse affirms that God is faithful. He will do what He promised. Amen? Our hope is a living hope. 1 Peter 1.3 Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In His great mercy, He has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. In this amazing verse, Peter is telling us that we have a living hope. This hope has an eternal focus. Sometimes when people suffer, struggle, or have challenges, they may lose sight of God's incredible blessings. Therefore, it is important to remember even Paul's words in Romans 8:18, 8, our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. Paul is referring to God's gift of salvation. And Peter is also referring to this gift of salvation and eternal life that gives us hope. I want to encourage you with God's promises that put your life into perspective. As a Christian, you don't need to feel hopeless because God has an eternal inheritance for you through Jesus Christ. Meditate on these verses and you are going to begin to receive God's hope in your life. Watch the videos you see here on the screen to continue to get hope. And if you liked the video, click the like button, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel so that you can get more videos on Bible verses for your life.